Welcome to Production Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. A few years ago, I took a look at Loop Cloud, a standalone loop application that can easily sync with any DAW. I liked it a lot. It's a free application and comes with a huge selection of free loops. And it's also worth mentioning that there are loads of free samples added very frequently to this. So you're never going to be short of creative ideas. Now, recently, Loop Cloud was updated to version 5, as you see here. This latest version brings a number of very cool features, such as the new Look UI, which is a much tidier and easier environment to work in and navigate compared to the previous dark themed versions. Now, the search engine at the top here is very powerful. You're not going to struggle finding whatever you need to find here. Now, in previous versions of Loop Clouds, when you found a loop that you wanted to use, you were a little bit limited with the number of things that you could do to the sample before importing it into your DAW. You could change pitch and tempo, either manually or it'd be done automatically for you and some other time stretching things. But alongside those features in this, you can now apply effects to your loops, which is very cool. I'll show you more about this later in the video, but let's start with building the beginnings of a song and how Loop Cloud can integrate into your DAW. Now I've already started playing around with some loops at the bottom here. You see eight tracks, four that I've used, and four that are available. This helps us to audition loops together within loop clouds without having to work in our DAW. Let's take a quick listen to what we've got. There's our bass. Let's take it out solo. Drum loop. Percussion. There you go, and a vocal as well. Now let's say we want to put another loop into this. We go to an available track. I'm going to go to instruments and let's go for a kick. And to hear what we've got, we can just click on each of the samples. Yeah, let's go with that. That works. Now we've got five tracks down here that we can play around with. Now let's say we want to add some effects to this kick loop. Click this effects edit button and over here where the plus symbol is, we can load in several effects. Let's start with a reverb. Long cave. Let's see what this sounds like. Put it in solo. Yeah, that works, that works. Now you may hear those birds tweeting in the background. That's not part of the sample, it's a watermark, as this particular loop that I've chosen needs to be purchased. But we'll do that later. Let's apply another effect. Let's go for slow high pass. Sounds good, we're gonna adjust that here. If you want, we can put this before the reverb module. And we can adjust the effects a bit more down here on the timeline. Let's hear that back in the mix. Okay, working for me. Now let's get these out of loop clouds into our DAW. Now I'm using Pro Tools here, and I've already got a stereo auxiliary in place here with the loop clouds plugin on insert one. Now this just enables me to monitor in the standalone loop cloud application in my DAW. I'll just leave that there. Now from my timeline, I've got the tracks that I'm gonna be importing over from loop clouds. Let's just make another stereo audio track for the kick I just found. And I'm gonna head back into loop cloud here. Start with this loop. Over here, you'll see by file. I click that and it will take some credits off my balance from my accounts. So I'm going to buy that sample for two points. There we go. And I can very simply just pull this to one side and I can drag this in. And now that's in Pro Tools. But you know what? I've had a change of heart. I think that this song could be a little bit quicker. How do I do this? Well, it's very simple. I'm going to go back over into Pro Tools. The session tempo is set to 100 beats per minute. I'm just going to go across and change this to 120. Let's jump back over to Loop Cloud. Hit play. Let's change the tempo of all the samples. Everything's in sync, everything works, and the pitch hasn't changed either. 
which is very clever and very useful. Okay, I think that was a little bit too quick. Bring that down to 110. Just audition that quickly. You are the shoulders I stand on. Much more like it. So let's drag that sample across. So you can see that perfectly falls across two bars. Let's grab the base. I've already purchased this sample earlier. That falls perfectly across four bars. So I may need to duplicate this drum loop. Let's grab the percussion. I've got to buy the vocal. Let's do that. There's our vocal over eight bars. So I'm just going to duplicate these loops there. And last but no means least, that kick sample with effects. And it gives us two options. We can drag across the original, so pre-effects, or the process. Now I'm going to take the process across. There we go. Now let's have a little listen to this in my DAW. You are the shoulders I stand on. You are the and there you go. Using Loop Cloud, it's just that simple to work with loops. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is also available as a free application, though the free version is limited. You only get two tracks to play with, for instance, at the bottom. You don't have access to the effects and you don't have the ability to purchase any loops in the full library. Now, the old pay as you go pricing model is gone in Loop Cloud 5. Instead, we get subscription, we pay a small fee and we get a number of points that we can use in the full loop store. If you sign up for the free 30 day trial of the studio subscription plan, you get 300 points up front and you have the access to the effects and the eight tracks and a lot of other features as well. Now, for more information on Loop Cloud, do click that card at the top right of the screen or the link in the description below. We'll include a link to the Loop Cloud website so that you can see all the different options. And in our article as well, you'll be able to read our full verdicts. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.